Three new community storm shelters began the installation process today in Etowah County. The first of the three shelters was delivered and set into place this morning at the Gallant Volunteer Fire Department. The Alabama built shelter is made by the Safety Shelter Company and is constructed of quarter inch solid steel plate and is rated to withstand an EF5 tornado. The shelter also offers forced air ventilation and emergency lighting. Uh, the ones we're doing today are 24 foot and they're approximately occupancy wise, they're gonna hold about 50 people. And that's not saying you couldn't get more or less into it. Uh, but as far as occupancy, it's about 50 people. And the specs on it, we have, they're tested and approved uh, by FEMA. The shelters that were delivered today were paid for by FEMA grants and once installation is complete, will be open to the public anytime severe weather threatens. Patrick Husselton with the Gaston Etowah County EMA says that the citizens should not wait until the last minute to head to the community shelter. We don't want anybody leaving their house or their structure during an actual tornado warning. So these shelters, uh, we're going to have people here. They're going to be open before when, when, when severe weather is threatening. We don't want anybody to get out during an actual tornado warning. So if you're thinking that you may need to utilize one of these structures in a severe weather event, please uh, think ahead and come on down long before we get a tornado warning. The other two shelters that were delivered today will be installed in the Coates Bend community at the Coates Bend Volunteer Fire Department and the Macedonia Baptist Church. Although the shelters were delivered and set into place today, they will not be ready to use until the anchoring and installation process is completed, which is expected to be by the end of the week.